Hello, today I'm going to be teaching you how to solve a Rubik's Cube. Solving a Rubik's Cube is one thing that a lot of people have thought is really difficult, but really it is pretty easy. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do it with the beginner method, which is seven steps long. Okay, so the first step is to solve the top cross. You have to line up all of the colored pieces on the top so it makes a cross shape. Um, there is no specific pattern for doing this though, and they do have to line up with the centers of the sides to make it work in later steps. Okay, so the second step of solving a Rubik's Cube is to solve the corners of the top where you just made the cross. So doing this, there's a specific pattern. There it goes, you turn the right side down clockwise. You put the right side back up and then you turn the bottom back counterclockwise. Okay, so the third step in solving a Rubik's Cube is to solve the second layer. You, there are two separate patterns to do this. One of them to solve the one on the right and one to solve the part on the left from what's facing you. Okay, so the fourth step in solving a Rubik's Cube is to solve the cross on the opposite side from where you solved the cross in the very beginning. Okay, so the fifth step is solving the corners of the layer you just did the cross on. It is done with exactly the same step as when you solved the corners in the second step. So there's nothing else to learn here. Okay, so the sixth step in learning how to solve a Rubik's Cube is to solve the corners of the third layer. To do this, you do the pattern that I show you in the video. Is to solve the center of the last layer. To do that, all you do is turn the front top once, put both of the sides down, turn the front twice, put them back, turn the top, and rotate the front, and that should... Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate me solving at full speed. So the first thing that I'm going to do is solve the front cross. As I described in the video, step one. Okay, so there's the cross done. The next step is going to be solving the outside corners. All right, that's done. I'm solving the second layer. And I think I got one more. Alright, the second layer is done. Now it's time for the top. Here's the top cross. 